Okay, uh, we're doing this, and here we go. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg, Basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Please sign up for the newsletter, subscribe to us on the YouTubes, the iTunes, wherever you feel comfortable. Whatever works for you, whatever you feel good about, I want this is a safe, comfortable place for you and me to have a discussion, and we're going to have some fun here. So... This happens super, super rarely that this is not a solo show. And I thought, you know, we have a lot of great conversations here after the Indie Mayhem show with my good buddy. Let me introduce to you the uh, first time here on Basic Sorgonomics. It is Eamon Payton. He is the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling in Texas, out of Austin, Texas. He is in San Antonio, though, at the moment, at Eamon 2 please on the Twitter. How are you doing tonight, sir? Hello, Sorg, and hello, Basic Sorgonomic Universe, I guess is the best way to put it. Sure, something <laughs> like that. Uh, but I, I wanted to have a conversation with you because you not only are you on commentary with Inspire Pro Wrestling, and we have this discussion week after week, uh, uh, you know, trying things. Uh, we were just talking about new things that you guys were trying out over there. But you actually, you actually are also, I guess, in charge of the social media for Inspire Pro Wrestling. And I think Inspire, personally, uh, watching it from afar, I think has been one of the most exciting things coming out of Texas for a while. I mean, we've been talking about indie wrestling out of that area for a long time. You and I. Uh, across the podcast for years and uh you guys it really feels like you have something special there and part of that is what i'm seeing on your social media um can you talk a little bit about what you're using what kind of makes sense for you guys and like kind of where do you get the most kind of feedback from definitely well i think starting out we kind of knew that we had to have the basics uh the basics for any indie wrestling promotion i think for the most part is twitter facebook and website um you know i getting our stuff out there and sort of building that community is kind of how we started uh and i think a lot of the other stuff that we use when it comes to social media was comes from my bosses bis or or max being like hey why we should be on this thing let's try instagram let's try um uh you know let's let's test our let's test the waters of different stuff not to spoil anything hopefully i think we'll be announcing it soon but we're going to be on periscope and and trying some stuff there, trying to see where everyone's going, see where the trends are, uh, and, and, and sort of develop that. Um, and, and the big thing for me, I think, has been learning how to have a, a conversation mm-hmm. and how to get people – using that conversation, how to get people to bite in a sense. Um, and, and there's been definitely a lot of hit and miss stuff of that, obviously, but uh, uh, a lot of that comes from our work. You know, I, I, I think Instagram – has been uh, I, Max uh, has told me before. He's like, I feel like Instagram is going to be like the next sort of like thing that all these companies start using that where the communities build. And we get so much. We got we get I think a good majority of traction on Instagram as opposed to like Facebook or Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe not Twitter, but I know I know definitely Facebook. Um, you know, it's it's just trying new things and, and it's a lot of experimentation. I feel. And I think especially for Instagram, you have to have a pretty good base there of, of that visual thing. You have a, you've had some uh, great photographers, I think plural, over over the years. Um, mm-hmm. And you, you have that good base. Uh, you know, IWC, I've talked about, you know, Hooven's providing some great stuff there. And they they seem to have kind of let him have that as a playground. And, and just some, some devastating stuff's coming out of there. And, and, and I think it's been kind of flat for a while. And they haven't been doing it quite as long. But we're definitely seeing the numbers. And they definitely not the where you guys are on Instagram. But I think they're close to, if not recently, broken with 700 on there. And that's been a mm-hmm. huge rise since he's been kind of stepping up the game over there. Um Wrestling is a very visual medium, and there's a lot of colorful characters. I yes. think there's a lot of opportunity there for you guys to kind of capture. And like I said, you guys have a feel to you that I don't see in a lot of other independent wrestling organizations. Do you have a lot of discussion about <laughs> that persona that the company gives off? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, kind of like how you mentioned, I think we've surrounded ourselves with really good people. Like, like surrounded ourselves with great photographers, great graphic designers, um, uh, people do, do have that vision. Uh, uh, and it's, it's, you know, we get a lot of responses about like our graphic design, our posters, our uh, photography, and that's all Joel Loeschman. Uh, that's all Dustin Nance who, who are amazing and, and help us uh, in those aspects. Um, and I think that it is building a brand. And I, I do agree. Wrestling is a very visual medium and, there's so much more traction that just a photo 
gets as opposed to like just something that's text based. Mm-hmm. Um, you, the, again, it's just the idea of hooking people and, and getting them excited about something. Um, we have a, a uh, for example, we have a very colorful character uh, inspired pro wrestling known as the Great Depression who is basically some, our monster character that has like a burlap sack. And is it's, it's something you would see out of like a, a out of like a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and just sharing that around, um, you know, people know who he is now and, I, you know, haven't even seen a match of his before. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Um, I know, uh, the guys at F4W, which is Brian Alvarez, uh, uh, like the and that's where like Dave Meltzer like does his stuff from. Like randomly saw saw the Great Depression one one uh, just browsing on the internet and loved him, even though they didn't see a single match of his. Mm-hmm. And they like talked about him them him on our podcast on excuse me on his podcast, and and that gets how many views you know mm-hmm. weekly like it's it's insane. Um, it's it's funny how like a small thing like that can spread out and and get more traction exactly and it's really um i i you know i've commented on other ones where you also make sure to tell a story around whatever that picture is like i'm pulling up this throwback thursday you put up on uh, great depression on here and, and there's a there is a lot to it back in july no no turning back uh a brawl ensued and you, you have background it's not just a picture there's like what is going on with this and it, it hopefully visually text draws people in right um yeah, yeah i've been i've been trying like a lot of the like collage work sort of stuff uh, uh with some success and some failure of course. Uh, uh but the ones where i get to kind of like sort of tell a story is, is kind of cool like say we have a long running storyline that can be broken down into these specific scenes mm-hmm. to kind of like lay out those scenes is kind of like a good way of just sort of telling a story in, in an image. And, you know, um, th- that's what I kind of like doing. Um, also, I think just with ask, just learning, it's been so helpful learning how to properly tag things mm-hmm. and how to sort of get things in a way that it will build traction. Uh, uh, I make it a point to hashtag everything after every uh, uh, Instagram post I do, which is Inspire Pro uh, Wrestling. I usually do Inspire Pro Wrestling, name of the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, ju- I usually just hashtag ATX because sometimes people just search for that and and sort of find stuff to do in the city. You and know and that's I mean? for Austin, Texas, right? Yeah, sure, for Austin, Texas. Wow. Um, wow. Okay. And and just little things like that, you know, stuff you can try that that's different. And and if you see, if you just do a little bit of excavating and see, oh, this this is kind of gaining a lot of traction. Why don't we try something with this? I usually tag any like it, it's it's horrible to say, but any women's wrestling post I tag with hashtag women's wrestling because there will be some people that just search for women's wrestling mm-hmm. and you know and and you know find, may come across it. Um, it it's learning. Learning how the internet functions is a really funny thing. Um, <laughs> well, the internet and social, but... right? I mean, and, 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 and that whole thing. It is funny because I was just reading some articles, and I haven't thought about it in this fashion, but they're like, take the thing that you're trying to sell and break down the like three to five to ten, depending on what I was listening to, uh, hashtags that talk about what is your thing. And it looks like you've done that kind of naturally here. Yeah. I'm seeing like five-ish tags they're about the content you have ones that are on every post and then there's the show and then there's there's something specific like women's wrestling you guys you broke the code kind of naturally it looks like definitely and and it was you know we would gain like maybe like 20 30 30 on like a good day like hits on on some of those photos and then like some of the ones that you tag really well like you can get like 60 or 70 Mm -hmm. and it's just like you know the the wide variety of people that sort of see that content is really, really cool. Um, uh, I, I, that's the thing, we, and I mentioned it before, like, uh, we're hopefully going to be starting to use more Periscope soon. And I want to sort of learn how to cultivate that audience and, and see how that works out and, and what we can and can, and, and what we can do to improve upon it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I think, I, and I can, I think I can discuss openly here. Like we're going to hopefully be streaming like a match or show to give people something to sort of look for that like maybe can attend our live shows. Uh, I also like the idea of maybe doing 
when, when it's available, doing like a Q and A every once in a while or something along those lines. Um, just something that kind of gets people interested. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and it's very, it's nice that also in the fact that like Periscope is very integrated with Twitter. And, and so it's not, it's not like you're trying to cultivate a whole new thing almost in a sense, you have that sort of following in that and, uh, that you can kind of rely on, um, in that, in that realm to, to, to work from. And you're, it's not, it's not like you're not starting with nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, I, I think you you, you 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 gave a lot of insight on Instagram here. I think that's a good spot mm-hmm. to end this. Thank you so much. I, I let the maybe have you on. Since I have you anyways on Tuesdays with the Andy, Andy Mayhem show. Um, we're we're both kind of figuring out two sides of the same coin here, and uh, I think it's really oh, cool. Yeah. A lot of insight there, and I hope uh, a lot of guys. And this is not just pro wrestling. Kind of the more colorful of things that you can be doing on Instagram. Um, but I mean, these transpose the, these these tips affect other companies other 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 things that you're trying to do on instagram as well on social media and and uh looks like you guys are having a lot of success with it and, and, and it's really cool and of course you guys uh not that a lot of you guys in the audience i know we have a lot of Pitts, pittsburgh based listeners but <laughs> inspire pro wrestling has our big battle war show with jakara pro wrestling which is another big can we call them a national company because they travel around a lot right uh, definitely and, and and a company that does understand tech and 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 using social media to their advantage as well, I think. Uh, we, we, we talked about on the show earlier that Chikara is, I think, a... Well, no, actually, there was a chat I think I was having earlier on, on Facebook. Um, Chikara is another one that is a, a company that gets branding, telling the story, everything, and they've done it long before a lot of these, a lot of these tools were out here for everybody. Um, so no, another one to kind of look at how they do that. And you'll kind of get it if you're kind of a comic book geek as well. So thank you so much, Eamon. At Eamon2, please... On the Twitters, Inspire Pro Res on the Twitters and inspireprowrestling.com. You can find all the links to their social media show information. You can get a show, support them if you're digging what they're doing online uh, via SmartMark Video, of course, and another, I don't know what all you got linked up there. Uh, check out everything at sorgatron.com. I hope you're digging these conversations. Please subscribe to the newsletter. Please subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. Check out the blogs and check out everything else going on at Sorgatron media.com and is there any way we can help you let me know and let me know on the twitters at sorgatron we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com